Hi everyone, today I will play through the two missions necessary to unlock Ballistic Weave. I've left timestamps in the description down below if you want to skip to any particular part of the video. To receive these two missions from Pam, you must have completed Road to Freedom, Tradecraft, and Boston After Dark. After completing these missions, you should be able to speak with Pam and receive a set of new quests that will allow you to unlock Ballistic Weave. For those who have seen my Minutemen ending video, I was still able to complete these two missions even after completing the main storyline. I did notice that the locations for these quests are given at random, and yours might be different from mine. Confirmed. Agent Wanderer has arrived. I have a mission for you. Synth traffic greatly exceeds organization's maximum capacity. Solution. A new distribution center needs to be established. A distribution center? What's that? The railroad organization calls distribution centers safe houses. A place where synths are stored and then rerouted safely through the region known as the Commonwealth. Mission details commencing. Pacify the target location. Fortify position to protect current and future railroad assets. New distribution center will be codenamed Mercer Safe House. Good luck. If you don't have the materials on hand, I found that the easiest way to complete this mission was to set up a supply line. And that is really all I needed to do in order to complete Mercer's safe house. Setting human machine interface to 100%. Good day, agent. My data indicates Mercer's safe house has been established. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. I have the location of a Black Ops cache. It contains supplies our organization needs. Railroad Alpha has asked for you to secure the cache from any hostels in its vicinity. What's in the cache? Contents are classified. However, if the cache is secured, it increases our organization's effectiveness by 2%. Warning, margin of error is 3%. The cache is hidden in compliance with Tactical Counter Surveillance Protocols. This RFID device will locate and unlock the cache upon close proximity. How does this device work? The device is calibrated to identify you as Colonel Johnson of the Defense Intelligence Agency. Colonel Johnson is authorized to access all DIA military ordinance in the region designated Commonwealth. You only have to secure the cache. Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human-machine interface. If you also happen to receive Jackpot Hub 360, finding this location can be a little tricky. Now I'll show you how to get there starting from the combat zone.
The clothing seen here can later be upgraded with Ballistic Weave. You're from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scammer. Commencing recurrence analysis using Dubrovian method. Cash secured, Pam. Machine human interface. That's great, Agent. Those provisions will really help Organization Railroad. Here's your reward. Have a good day. There you are. Need something? The DIA. Shit, man. That cash you found has some real serious high tech. But the creme de la creme is ballistic polymer weave. Lightweight, serious stopping power. And it looks just like normal clothing. I got some in stock now. But, oh, give me some time. I got all sorts of ideas. I'll take a look. <clears throat> take a look. As you can see, Tinker Tom now sells armored clothing. And now if we head over to a workbench, we can upgrade our clothing Glad with Ballistic Weave. It seems that not all clothing can be upgraded with Ballistic Weave. If we take a look at the clothing we picked up earlier, all of it can be upgraded. However, if I check my vault suit, it doesn't look like Ballistic Weave can be applied. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them.